Hi everyone and welcome to PsyQ. This is a very special episode that was requested by a subscriber asking about zero carb diets. Do they work? Are they good for you? And how do you poop with no fiber? Low carb diets are supposed to help you lose weight, made famous by the Atkins diet in the early 2000s. They eliminate things like bread, pasta, fruits, some starchy vegetables, and especially sugar. But according to the recommendations from most governments, carbohydrates should be the building blocks for your daily diet. The dietary recommendations for Americans suggest that 45 to 65 percent of your energy needs should be supplied by carbohydrates, which is 200 to 300 grams of carbs per day. Low carb diets reduce this to 50 grams or below, with the Atkins diet recommending you start on 20 grams. But what about zero grams of carbs? Does such a thing even exist? A zero carb diet would actually be very difficult to achieve. It's mostly just meat, dairy, and other animal products. But People are already eating a zero carb diet, and I don't just mean dieters. The diet of Eskimos and Inuits is mostly zero carb, depending on the season, and they live pretty fine. They also enjoy some health benefits when compared to the normal American diet, which is high in carbs. Zero carb dieters also enjoy a lot of benefits when compared to the average American diet. With no sugar, there's less tooth decay, and with less simple carbs in processed food, they enjoy a more sustained release of energy, so less sugar highs and sugar crashes in your day. But my big question for zero carb dieters was, how do they poop with no fiber? Well, a diet high in carbs is also usually high in fiber or fibrous materials that are found in things like fruits and vegetables. Our body pushes these through, but it takes more mass to fill our energy needs. So that means we eat more food and then there's more coming out the other end. A diet high in meats and dairy is usually energy rich, which means we need less actual volume of food to fulfill our energy needs. So less food in, less food out. That means that people on a zero carb diet might poop less often, but they're still pooping as much as their body needs. The fats and oils in a zero carb diet also help things move along. Think castor oil. People who enjoy a zero carb diet report that they might go less frequently, but they still find themselves going regularly, and that's what's important. So after a thorough psyche investigation, the zero carb diet does get the tick of approval, but it does require a big lifestyle change. So make sure you talk to your doctor or nutritionist before doing anything drastic. If you've got a topic that you think deserves a PsyQ investigation, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Give us your questions, tell us your comments, and we'll feature them in a future video. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.